Hello, Berlin. I'm, I'm coming to you here from um, Holzmarkt, on the banks of the Spree. Uh, so Berliners, if you haven't been to Holzmarkt yet, please come. There are a couple of bars, there's a couple of cafes, there's a wine shop. Uh, a guy who makes crepes, and he also sells ice cream, which is delicious. And um, what else have we got here? There's burgers, there's pizza. Um, there's all sorts of lovely places to sit by the beach. If you ever come around, um, you'll probably find me here because um, I'm here so often that the people who work here think I also work here, uh, but I don't. <laughs> Not yet. Um, um, I'm here because I want to introduce myself officially to uh, the Berlin yoga and meditation community. Um, my name is Michael Bartel. I should have started with that. Um, <laughs> I am. Um, I have been teaching yoga for the last 10 years, full-time. I was in New York for quite some time. I was in London for just over four years. I spent some time in Stockholm. Since March, I've been here in Berlin and on, a, on almost like an accidental sabbatical. Um, so the thing that I'm excited about is that I'm starting slowly to emerge from my cocoon uh, and <laughs> to teach more frequently. And I want to introduce myself through a series of workshops that I'll be teaching next weekend, which will be uh, the Friday the 18th, Saturday the 19th of August. It's occurred to me that uh, both in yoga and in life more generally, um, there's this tendency to separate things. Um, to separate mind and body, obviously, is a really popular one to separate. Uh, these are two things that I don't believe are actually two things, <laughs> just two different ways of looking at the same thing. Um, and there's also a tendency um, amongst people in spiritual communities, people who have certain uh, beliefs about spirituality, um, often people who practice yoga and meditate, uh, tend to see these practices as ways of separating out parts of themselves that they don't necessarily like, um, that they are afraid of, um, that maybe are unattractive to them in some way, that they feel aren't useful. Well, I think that those parts of ourselves that we sometimes talk about as egoic parts of ourselves are actually things that can be helpful uh, in our lives. That when we ignore certain aspects of ourselves because maybe they're trying to tell us something that we don't find convenient or maybe it's unattractive or maybe it's just scary, um, we ignore these parts of ourselves, we set them off to one side, or we try to bury them somewhere, we try to cut them off uh, through our spiritual practice. Um, they don't really go away. They just kind of come in through the back door and just like a child who's been ignored for far too long, um, they start acting up, start trying to get a trying to get our attention in some way. That is when things can get a little tricky. So my work lately has been about using yoga practice, using meditation practice, using the tools of philosophical inquiry to find out how can we look at these parts of ourselves and ask them, what are you trying to say to me? How are you trying to serve me? There must be something in there. And so this is what I'm eager to explore. So on the Friday, the 18th at 7 o'clock. It'll be a candlelight yoga session. I think of it as like a date with yourself or yourselves, I should say. Uh, we're going to be exploring the various aspects of ourselves that we might not necessarily be paying attention to. We all have, for example, areas of our bodies that we might be ashamed of, that we might be afraid of. Um, we all have parts of our personalities that we try to ignore, that we hope that other people don't find out about. Um, so we're going to create a safe, warm, light-hearted space where we can explore these things, and not in a way that needs to be too serious, because I don't think it needs to be too serious. Um, we can explore these things and start to make friends with these parts of ourselves. So, uh, so that'll be Friday night. Uh, on Saturday afternoon, we'll be exploring embodied meditation, that we can use the meditation as a way of exploring the physical aspects of ourselves, we can use movement to explore the mental aspects of ourselves, and in doing so, we can combine uh, these two different ways of looking at ourselves into an experience of completeness. So I hope that you'll join me. Um, we'll have a lot of fun. That's always a promise. Uh, I always like to play fun music, uh, and we'll be doing some restorative yoga. We'll be doing some meditation. We'll be doing some movement. And there will be plenty of time for questions uh, and or 
for you to share ideas of your own, things that you've found and explored. Uh, so you can sign up for this um, workshop here, michaelbartell.com slash events. So check that out. Space is pretty limited. There's my blog. It updates on Friday mornings. It's just michaelbartell.com. And um, we talk there about the body, the mind, philosophy, um, yoga, and, um, and other interesting things. Uh, this has been really lovely. Um, I hope you're enjoying your summer, and I will see you soon. Shanti.